guys happy Tuesday um, so start of a new vlog I haven't yet edited the last two weeks one and uploaded that I need to try and get that done in the next day or so but I have a not big big assignment but a decent sized assignment coming up that I desperately need to get done so that is taking priority my schoolwork definitely does take priority over everything um, but I thought I would just pop in and I think I want to do like a reading goal for the week so I think I either want to try and finish Siege and Storm or um, a simple favour I want to at least finish one of those books this week because I do have the week off so I want to try and get that done I want to try and edit the other couple non-vlog videos that I've got and have them scheduled um, and I think I want to try and film a wrap up on Thursday so that's my plan I have a literature review that I have to like start off with so I have to do that for criminology which that is taking priority I finished all my writing assignments and that so they're all in my workshop is in for next week I did that today so that's another thing that I have to have done by the end of the week off my back um, but yeah I'm just trying to organize my days I kind of wasted yesterday a little bit and I've partially wasted today but I don't think I have at the same time I think I've done a lot today that I won't have to do now throughout the week so that's good I've redone my bed it's like my bedspread is a diff all different so my bed's been remade I also want to try and read I think I might make a plan to do some of it every night and read more so actually start properly reading Pillow Thoughts by Courtney Pepinell um, I'm actually going to put this on my bedside table with my pencil case so then I can annotate certain poems if I want to. Um, but I definitely think I'm going to start this one off a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to do it in sections that I'm gravitated towards or if I'm just going to do it like general from one to the last page. So I don't know. I think I might just do it one to the last page. And last four days including today off work and uni and it's been great but I have been writing my assignment and using the um, Ink and Wonder notebook that came in one of the crates um, because it's just perfect to be writing my notes in so I've just been focusing on my assignment that is due on Monday but I did do some reading last night and I'm very happy about that because I haven't read for the last couple of days because I've had this assignment, I've had another assignment that was due Monday, I don't have an assignment that was due Thursday this past week. And then I also have a workshop that I had to have handed in by Friday, so I've handed that in already. So that's all good. Um, so then I'm available to workshop it next week. But last night I read 64 pages of Pillow Thoughts by Courtney Pepinell. I don't even have a proper bookmark in it. I was that lazy. I didn't want to get out of bed. But it makes sense to why I was reading it at night. Because it's called Pillow Thoughts. Like, just, it, it worked. <laughs> it worked alright. <laughs> but I was really enjoying this. I was just so tired. It was midnight. And I'm like, I should probably go to bed. But <laughs> I was really enjoying it. I do really like poetry. I'm in a massive poetry kick. But like poetry and comic kick. I have actually been reading a lot of comics lately. I just haven't been mentioning them because I don't physically have them. I'm just reading them online. They're proper legit comics. Like I'm putting them on my Goodreads. Um, but I'm just not mentioning them. But yeah. I'm probably going to read more Pillow Thoughts later because I was really enjoying it. And I actually think I could probably finish it 
really quickly. Um, I haven't gotten annotated anything yet. I didn't feel like I wanted to last night. Um, but there are a couple that sort of did speak out to me that I think I might just annotate and have them at easy grip. This seems like one, because it's split up into these sections, I feel like one or two poems per section is going to really stand out to me. That's what it has for the two sections that I have read. And I want to annotate those and keep them as go-to ones. Whereas for my Amanda Lovelace ones, I annotated the crap out of them because I found that so many were connecting to so many other things and I wanted to just really dissect it. Whereas something like this one, I want to go back to it and read things here and there. It is making me want to reread The Sun and No Flowers of Milk and Honey by, both by Ruby Gore. Um, I did read them last year at the start of the year and so it's been almost two years since I've read them and I because I'm on that poetry kick, I think I'm going to reread them, which would be three books I would have reread this year. And I do want to get back to reading, you know, the Quarter Thorns and Roses series and the um, Throne of Glass series because I do want to reread them again because Sarah J. Mass is just in my head. So, um, especially with that Starfall Court that is doing the film thing, like that's cool. But I have my tea, I'm rearing to go. And I'm going to focus for a while. Um, played with my dog a little bit this morning. She ran me ragged. Um, so, yeah. So, I was going to visit the bookstore, but turn I can't fix my hip. Turns out I needed to do my assignment. So, that is what I've been doing for the last sort of 45 minutes. I have like 300 words left. I am so happy I've written most of this today. Like, I've spent like the last three days like organizing all of my thoughts and what I wanted to say and how many words I wanted for each part and all of that hoopla do. So <laughs> the fact that it's almost done is really good. I am so happy about that. My partners and I's passports are almost finished. We just have to finalize things on Monday. Um, I've imported all the footage so I can edit and upload the last two weeks of vlog in the next sort of day or so. I want to try and get that up tonight if I can. I just need to finish this essay. Once I finish this, then I can do that. So I'm on track for what I wanted to get done today, which is really good. And then, oh my God, lighting, <laughs> which is really good. And then I'll probably do some more um, writing and reading and stuff tonight. But essay's almost done. It's three assignments and a half assignment done in two weeks. My brain is going to be mush by the end of this. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Home from work and in a new shirt because I felt like buying a shirt and I wanted to make sure before I took all the tags off that it fit nicely and I was happy with it um, because I'm way too lazy to try things on in the store. Um, this one store that I go to has a 14 day exchange policy. So I've just exchanged for another couple shirts, but I'm happy with it. I love it. It's so warm. It's beautiful. But anyway, finished work for the night and I've read another chapter of Siege and Storm. I am enjoying it still, definitely. I'm just, I'm in the mood for fantasy, but I'm not in the mood for fantasy at the same time. So I think I'm going to read more of Pillow Thoughts tonight, see how much more I can get through. That, I might take a simple favour tomorrow to read on my break. Um might do that. So it's Tuesday and I am getting ready for uni tomorrow. I have had the last couple of days off because I've been catching up on schoolwork because since my assignments were finished on the week that I had off I had to catch up on work that I haven't finished so I was doing that. I did not finish either A Simple Favour or A Siege and Storm but I made progress in both so that's always good. Um, however I did finished something. I finished Pillow Thoughts by Courtney Pepinell and 4.5 out of 5 stars. Really enjoyed it. I'm gonna go get the next one because I am on a poetry kick at the moment. But tonight I think I'm gonna read Finally Woven Thread, the another Black Widow comic and from the website that I watch, not watch, read comics online as well. They have the other two volumes of this and then I can purchase them but I'll have them read so that's definitely my next one. I also need to continue the Shields Most Wanted comic.
comic. I think I've continued most of it. I'm actually thinking of taking a completely different book to uh, uni tomorrow. I'm actually thinking of retaking A Court of Mist and Fury to re to reread because I finished A Court of Thorns and Roses and I just want to get to this one because this one's my favourite of the trilogy and I'm missing my Sarah J Mass enjoyment in reading. There's no Cassandra Clare, no Sarah J Mass and yeah so I think we're going to take this and a simple favour and just like alternate between bus trips and stuff so like maybe like one bus trip will be this next bus trip will be that train trip one train trip two like those <laughs> that's me really just trying to read too much I also this is how many books I have going at once. I also have A Gathering of Shadows to keep reading. So I might actually take that instead and have these two at uni tomorrow. Um, and just go between those because I'm horrible at picking books. I keep buying more and I have a pile just here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. <laughs> I've got like 20 books sitting here in front of me that aren't even like properly put on my bookshelf. My bookshelf needs a whole new rearrangement. Just, oh. I have too many books. I have way too many books. It's a bad thing, but a good thing at the same time because I'm reading. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with my life. All right, I'm gonna go pack a bag and get ready for bed. And I will see you all at uni or on the train tomorrow. Thursday night and I am getting ready for bed because I have work at 8.30 in the morning. I have the morning shift which is longer but that's okay. I am seeing Once Upon a Time in Hollywood tomorrow night so I am very excited for that. Um, but I do have some reading updates because I did some reading. <laughs> I finally updated my Goodreads with all the comics that I've read. So I've read a lot of comics. <laughs> I have read the Bat uh, Black Widow, Deadly Origin, uh, Hawkeye and Captain, no, Hawkeye and Winter Soldier, Tale of Suspense. Um, I'll put a couple of them up here. I've read the rest of the most, uh, Shield's Most Wanted Black Widow one. I finished that today. Um, and yeah, so I've finished a lot of comics lately, which has been awesome. I've been in such a comic mood. And I'm glad it's sticking around because I'm really enjoying it. But I've also done some more physical reading. So I am 115 pages now into A Simple Favour. I haven't read too much more of this, but I've read a little bit more. And I am still really enjoying it. It's great. I love it. It's, it's a thriller. It's suspenseful. It's everything I want out of it. I'm loving it. And then I am... This is something I've gotten through faster. 110 pages already into A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass. This is my first reread of it. I read it the first time last year. It is my reread of it. So I'm continuing on with my reread of Sarah J Mass books and I'm loving it. It's a five out of five star book for me. I absolutely adore Akamath and I just cannot wait till we get to more of the Night Court. We've had a little bit, a little, a little sliver of it, just a little sliver and I love Reese. I am a Reese girl. I have been since the start. Um, I had my ish, like not issues with Tamlin, but I had my like, oh, maybe. And then I really read into him and I was like, eh, no, no Tamlin. No, thank you. <laughs> Definitely a Reese girl. But I'm going to sit and watch some, a little bit of YouTube, wind down. I have <laughs> wind down, wind down. Um, once again, I have said it a few times, drink responsibly, but I'm going to rest and then get ready for work in the, in the morning. So, yeah. It is a 
Monday and I am going to wrap up this vlog and start editing it tonight but I wanted to wrap up my reading. I didn't actually finish anything like I had planned however I did get through more of everything that I was reading so making positive <laughs> I'm reading that's what I care about so I read a bit more of A Simple Favour which is now bent because it got stuck in my bag which is pissing me off but I'm really enjoying A Simple Favour so far. It's still really good. I read a little bit more of Siege and Storm as well. Hopefully this can be finished soon. It is still really good, but my reading taste isn't focused on fantasy at the moment, even though I'm also reading another fantasy book. I did, however, finish the 2016 run of the Black Widow comics, um, which I'll put up here. So that was really good and I'm halfway through the 2014 run, which is also really cool. So I'm reading at least, I'm reading comics, I'm loving it. And then I am just over 100 or so, 150 so pages into Court of Mist and Fury. I need to update a few more um, post-it note points because I was reading it and I forgot my post-it notes, which really annoyed me. So I've got to go through and put those in, but overall, really enjoying this because I absolutely adore this series so getting to reread it is absolutely awesome so that's my, my wrap up for this week or two weeks and I will see you in another video very shortly bye guys mm -hmm.